There's something I want to address. Fat Joe. Now, over the weekend, there has been some kind of Arctic blow through the Midwest and also hitting the South. Lord have mercy. God bless you if you're in those regions. But also over the weekend, some hip hop oh, tragedy has most definitely happened. We have gotten into an altercation with Damon Dash and Fat Joe. Now, as I overlook most definitely the conversation that Damon Dash is having with Flat Joe over this whole, you know, internet thing, I can most definitely see that, you know, Damon Dash is going a little bit overboard. Well, Fat Joe is also getting into Damon Dash's business. Hmm, I don't know what to actually think, but I want your, you know, your, your opinions and, and, and what you think about should Damon Dash just be quiet or should Fat Joe just stay out of Damon Dash's business? That's really where we're talking and what is on the chopping block. Let's see. You take a look at the clip and you tell me. Decided to enter the conversation about, you know, the things that I was saying about my experience based on my personal view with uh, the Rockefeller experience and, you know, whatever. Right. And he said some shit like make another hove and delusional and all that. I saw that. Delusional is real. People hype themselves up to believe that there's something they're not. If you're a hustler, if you're a money getter, then where's your money? If you're a genius and you're smart, then where's your... He said it. You made one, go make another one. And I was surprised at Fat Joe because he ain't got shit to do with it. And, you know, grown men, he's from the street. We don't usually talk on other men's business, so maybe he's changed. But regardless, I ain't got no beef with you, but I have a response to what you said. Number one, make another hove. Why the fuck would I make another hove? He was double dipping. We were paying him highly as an artist, and then he was double dipping from the company, and it didn't make me a lot of money. He did not generate $100 million a year for me. That's why I had to do a lot of other shit. I don't want to make another hose. But I did make a Kanye, a Cameron, pause or help. And, you know, after you do that, I don't have anything else to do. But what I did do is the next year... I started another company called Rachel Roy and it generated over a hundred million dollars a year. So I didn't make another hove. I made another hundred million dollar company. Ooh. But because you don't speak that language and most people don't. And a lot of what you know is music. If I'm doing something in another language you don't understand, then it doesn't resonate with you. But do the research, look under the hood. And look at the $100 million company with Rachel Roy that I did a year or two right after that. I don't make an artist, I make a company. And then what I'm doing now, because he was like, yo, where the money at? I ain't going... Number one, it, it, to me, it's, it's not a manly thing to ask about another man's money. And other men don't show their money to prove anything to another man. Facts. So it's almost like a mind your business kind of thing. But either way, that's, that's your approach. Go ahead and do that. Whatever.